What's up guys, it's Alec Mac 111 and it has been six months since I uploaded the last video and I owe you guys some sort of explanation. So I kind of came up with like a numerical list. Um, whether you've watched my videos for the past seven years and been one of my first subscribers or whether you're a newcomer, um, welcome to my channel. Hopefully this will explain some things. This is more for my subscribers that have been here for a while. I owe you guys some sort of explanation, especially those of you that have been here um, the longest. Um, and have been the most loyal, but without further ado, let's get into it. Reason number one why I haven't uploaded in six months is because of school. I have been at school for the past four years as an undergrad student at Grace College in Winter Lake, Indiana, super small school, but I just finished my degree in entrepreneurial management. It's basically a subset of business focused specifically on startups and stuff. Um, and so I just finished my undergrad and I decided to start my master's, which is where I've been. So I started my master's of arts in local church ministries. It's an MALCM. It's kind of a mouthful. Um, I started that just right after that. And so I'm still in school. The biggest reason, and it's not just been recently, if we're being honest, for those of you that have watched my channel over the past three years, you've known, especially since high school, I have like 550 videos that I've uploaded and the majority of those were in high school and then at the beginning years of college. And as I started going further through college and was working more and more, I started uploading less. Reason number two is I have not played Airsoft that much at all in 2018. I had played Airsoft a total of three times in all of 2018, and one of them was this past weekend. I played Airsoft at Spotter Park twice, so I will have some gameplay coming of my weekend at Spotter Park last time. It was super fun. Um, good to be back into it. I played once over spring break, and I played twice at Spotter Park um, actually within the past like two months. Normally when I play Airsoft is during the summer. However, this summer, I accepted a position, a full-time position at a local church um, called Grace Community Church, which is in Goshen. It's an awesome church. I met a lot of really cool people there, a lot of really cool people that I still care about, a lot of people that I love to this day, like super good, super close to them. I still go up there and lead small group on Wednesday nights, but I'm no longer on staff. However, all of last year, um, my senior year, I worked 45 hours a week. Um, I worked two jobs at my school. I worked as a student mentor and I worked as a game room assistant. And then I worked 15 to 20 hours a week at the church. And then this summer, they decided to, to basically bring me on full time because a pastor was on sabbatical, um, which basically means that he kind of gets a break every seven years, which is cool. And so I kind of actually got to literally physically take over his office. <laughs> and I, I was on staff and I did a lot of things that I ran around and helped the church um, all summer. It was a blast and I loved it. I loved the church. It was a great experience. Um, I definitely am really interested in local church ministry. I can see that as something I do for the rest of my life um, because I care about people and that matters to me. But because of that, I wasn't able to play airsoft all summer. Normally, I stockpile videos between my freshman, sophomore, junior year. I stockpile videos during the summer. I release some of them here and there. I work on some deals. I trade this and that and I get them at specific times. I still have a mystery box right there that I have to unbox. Um, but because of school and because of the my jobs and because of all the stuff with that, it was I, I wouldn't trade it for anything. But my video quality has been drastically like mediocre. I remember when I used to do, I was one of the few people that did unboxings. Most of you have probably gotten to my channel because of unboxings. Me and then God's Airsoft were like the two people that started that. I don't think he's ever, I think he's made a video for like four years. Um, but I used to do, I mean, if you look, go right now and search biggest unboxing or airsoft unboxing, my videos will pop up in almost all of those because that's how I grew. That's how I grew as a channel because that was what's huge, but I haven't improved. I haven't changed much since then. What's popular now is gameplay footage. And if I've played three times in 2018 and even in 2016 or 2017, I don't know how much I played in either of those years because I only played during the summer because I'm at school. I'm three and a half hours from Columbus, Ohio, where my school is at. And so I'm not home. I'm not with my guns. I have some of my stuff here, but I can't bring all of my gear. And it just gets hard. And in Indiana, there is hardly any places to play around here. And the one place we did go was not a great experience. Um, but reason number three that I wanna upload this video and I haven't uploaded in the past few months. I've filmed probably 30 videos over the past six months, five, six months. I just, I, it's felt weird or I haven't felt like I've, I've been able to upload. I don't wanna to, want to give you guys like mediocre footage. Like the reason I got this nicer camera and it's super nice, hopefully this picture looks awesome. Um, I wanna be able to do a lot more as an airsofter. I bought a zoom cam so I can get some actual, like that's what, what you have to do now. Um, I still am using AEG, still rocking that. However, I do think I am going to switch to Polar Star after this past weekend. I used the Polar Star for the last like 15 minutes of a game. And I probably shot 30 people. 
um, which was an incredible experience and made me realize why in the world did I sell my Polar Star in the first place. However, my system was great and AEGs are great. Something about HPA, man, you can just wail on people. Um, I lost track of my thought. Back to it. Anyway, that was number three. I think I kind of figured that out. Um, in, in summary of that, I am considering, I have, I have two and a half weeks left of school for this semester. At Christmas break, I'm going to go home and I'm going to spend three and a half weeks at home with my family and friends from Columbus. I love all you guys. Um, and then I'm heavily considering moving to LA and doing Airsoft and YouTube full time. I am at the most free point in my life right now. I want to go play airsoft. I want to go play airsoft, and California is the place to do it. I love California. I also really love cliff jumping, so there's some really cool spots um, there. Some of you know that if you follow my Instagram, um, but I want to do airsoft. I want to do this. This is, like I said, this is the most free time that I have. I have the potential with my 60,000 subscribers. I'm one of the biggest Midwest airsoft YouTubers, and to be honest, there isn't a ton here in the Midwest. All the big YouTubers that are airsofters are pretty much all over there. There's a few like me and airsoft tech and some other guys um, that are in the Midwest, but for the most part, everyone that's big is all moved to LA because that's where all the airsoft is. That's where the scene is. That's where everything's going on. And so I am really interested in doing that. I have a friend that lives out there that I could possibly room in their house for like 450 bucks a month, which isn't terrible for LA. Um, I would have to get a job at some sort of church. I think it'd be really cool to get a job like a part-time at a church out there. As long as I have Saturdays free so I can go play airsoft. Um, so if any of you guys live in LA or know the fields, I already obviously know the fields because I watch a ton of YouTube gameplay um, for airsoft stuff and imagine like, man, it'd be really cool if we had that in Ohio. And Ohio has some like cool fields, but honestly, airsoft in Ohio has gone downhill over the last few years. Springfield's still really cool, but they have events like a few times a year. Um, and then Indiana, airsoft has been as dead as I, I don't, I don't know if they used to have an airsoft community, but when I've been here the four or five, four and a half years that I've been here now, um, it's not had a ton. Um, but I'm consider I'm seriously considering moving to LA and doing this and I want to be able to do that. So if you guys know anything or know places or so I, I need to like, you need to play at those fields. Like I need you guys to be like, Hey dude, come play with me or come run with my squad. I miss playing airsoft with a team. I used to have a team that I played with in Ohio and then I left for college and they all got really cool. And so they all decided they made it a, a Milsim group. And then um, one of the guys left and went out West. And so I miss like playing in a team aspect, airsoft in a team aspect is awesome. And it's really cool to have like a few of us, but everybody kind of from Columbus kind of moved on and got older and all went to college. And it's kind of hard to do anything if you're at college when everybody's kind of across the U S um, but reason number four, um, this one's kind of a silly one, but I played a frick ton of Fortnite and I played a lot of Call of Duty Black Ops 4 over the past year. I haven't been a gamer since high school, but I think I have like 170-ish wins now on Fortnite. I've played with some of you guys. That's why I leave my Xbox um, in there. So if you want to carry me in Fortnite, that's cool. I think my KDR on that's like two, which is okay. Like I'm okay at Fortnite. Um, but if you want me to carry you in Black Ops 4, your boy's got a 2.35 KDR. I'm Prestige 5 already. I've been playing really hard for the past two months just with my friends. In between homework assignments, we'll be like, hey, dude, get on. Or in between a basketball game or in between volleyball, we'll be like, hey, dude, get on. Let's play. Let's wreck some scrubs. And so we've done a lot of pub stopping. So if you want to play, I think that's a really cool way to meet some of you guys and interact with some of you guys. Jordan, I know I play. Um, I played Fortnite with him for a lot. There's a few of the other guys that I've met as well. Um, but I, in conclusion, I want to, this is, this will be point number five. Like the reason I do these videos is because of you guys, guys like Ryan, guys like Justin, guys that have watched my videos for such a long time. Like you guys, and those of you that's names I don't know, like you guys are the reason there, I have 60,000 subscribers that are probably only going to be like a thousand to 5,000 people that watch this video. And those of you that are watching this video now, especially those of you that have lasted till the end, this is the reason I do this. This is the reason I make these videos. If it were just me and airsoft guns, like I love that. But the fact that I can have a community and that I can interact with you guys and have a relationship with you guys, even if it's subsurface, so you guys messaging me on Instagram or Messenger, by the way, I always respond to any of those messages. Those of you that message me know that. I, I, it feels personal. Having those relationships, that's what matters to me um, because it's really cool to make videos and stuff, but having conversations with you guys or helping you guys with some of the stuff, um, but if we're being honest, like I just have not made super good videos in a while. I have, I have not been intentional with it. I have not had time. I, I think it's less intentionality. It's more my, my focus is in school. Like my focus has been in school, but now that I'm not sure hundred percent if I want to continue my master's or if maybe I want to do it online or do it later. Um, I want my focus to be back on YouTube and to be back on that. 
Um, and I also have $22,000 in student loans, and so I think it'd be pretty cool. I don't really care about the money from this aspect, but if I can make a career from YouTube, then I can do this and make a little bit of money back and start paying off those loans, enough to basically just pay my loans um, monthly. That would be super cool. I'd love that, um, which is one of the reasons why I'm thinking about making merch. So I'm thinking about making like Alec Mac 101 hoodies or something. Like I'm thinking like a dark gray with like a sweet logo, like some teal, some orange, um, and the logos, like maybe me, like taking one of these and like getting up on a fool. Like imagine like a picture like this. I don't know hundred percent how that would work or anything. I would have to find a design guy. Um, but I really, I think it'd really be really cool to see you guys in some of my merch and just to wear like my own hoodie. I don't know. That would be, that's something that I'm really excited for. And it's been something I've been thinking about for a long time. Um, and it would be cool for you guys to get an opportunity to do that. So this is just thinking. Um, but in, in the final conclusion, guys, like the reason I do this is because I love you guys and because I love this platform. I love being able to upload videos. Um, YouTube monetization smacked me like a five-year-old child literally the past three years. I mean, airsoft demonetization every time I upload a video in my junior year. Um, Justin knows this. We, got, we just got smacked and smacked and smacked with that yellow dollar sign. And so this has never been about the money, but it is a little bit easier if I'm able to buy stuff. I spend 150 I don't get many sponsorships. I have like one or two, and even then I don't get money from these things. People just send me stuff here and there. Chinese companies will send me a plate carrier or something. But I buy these airsoft mystery boxes myself. And so I need to be able to recuperate some of those funds in order to buy more because those are the kind of videos I still want to make unboxings. But honestly, gameplay is where the future is. And that's what you guys want to see the most, I think. That's what I get most often, the unboxings and the gameplays. Those are what you want to see. And so I promise to be better. This has been Alec Mac 101, and I will see you guys soon.